Well, it's gonna be an adventure today. I'm up. We have uh, dri been driving for over an hour up through the mountains. We're now in North Carolina. <sighs> All right, we just carried the kayaks down here and got Chris over there fishing with Chris. We'll make a little short video of what's in the ditch in the middle of my town. So I'm out here floating. Uh, we're gonna do five miles of uh, this really beautiful river. The water's low, clear. Well, how's it going, everybody? You ever wonder where all the footage goes of the failed videos, the attempts, the different intros, the different outros that maybe that didn't make it, the different fishing days that you've never seen? Well, I'm going to show you some of that today. You just saw uh, a few intros that never turned into videos. Now, I got stuff that I've been hanging on to for, I probably got about two months worth of little clips from days where I wanted to show the fishing but it wouldn't turn into a whole video at least it didn't fit my standard and i'm going to show you some of that today so i'm gonna go through some unaired clips and maybe show a little behind the scenes kind of what i do as a uh, youtuber and uh, this is actually my uh this week is my four year anniversary of doing youtube full-time and that means i've been doing it um from my first video has been six and a half years so I feel like I've been at this a while. It's maybe taken me a long time to get to where I'm at. Maybe it was a short time compared to some people. I know I've put a lot of effort and work into it. And uh, a lot of times, some days just don't go the way I wanted it to go. And I felt like it just, I couldn't turn it into, I could have made a video out of it, but it just, I felt like it didn't meet the quality. But there's certain things. I got a couple clips here that are really exciting. And I uh, might not have made a whole video, but today we're making a video out of them. So first one coming up, we're going to do some wading. And I was using a new minnow, a jumping minnow. And I, I probably went out, I'm like, I was actually a day where I was editing just like this, sitting in here, doing what I normally do. And I just wanted to get out and go do something. So uh, I was like, I got this little topwater lure. I really want to try it out. And it worked pretty good. I went out and fished with it about 30 minutes. Here's that. Well, it's raining and gone and looks like it might be coming back but the creek's a little bit murky. And I got this little jumping minnow. I picked this thing up the other day and it's kind of like a spook style, I think, but also kind of like a fluke. So uh, I've only cast it a few times and I already got one little large mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping for. Man, he blew up on that thing. Look at that little bass. Thought he had him a little wayward minnow. Ooh. Look at the gut on this guy. He's been in here eating pretty good. Nice little largemouth. This water's up a little bit and it's a little murky, so I don't know where these fish really could be hiding anywhere. So I'm gonna try to cover some water. Oh, like that. Holy cow. That's a good fish right here. What a hit. I hope that showed up on my camera because I wanna go back and look at that. Cause I was, it happened so fast and it was like super loud. That's a nice bass, really nice bass. Holy cow, he ate that thing. Oh, man. Oh, he was barely hooked, actually. I thought he had both trebles. He just exploded on it. That's nice. That's like a 15-inch largemouth. Man, these guys are in here to eat. In the summertime, I spend quite a bit of time in the water uh, with my feet wet, wading, kayaking, doing stuff like that. But sometimes I like to keep my feet dry. And I've been trying out some new boots right here, Nordiv 8. They sent to me about three weeks ago to try them out and I've been wearing them all over the place. They are very lightweight, feel more like wearing a tennis shoe and they have a water resistant coating on them. I've been wearing the version one Ha <laughs> ha 
Hey. That's why you come down to the creek. I don't know what's gonna get. I had two or three bites and I couldn't get them hooked. Finally, I got something. We got a uh, drum. Now this isn't usually a very exciting fish to catch, but uh, I do like them. They're pretty cool. And they get decent size. This is a small one here, but a good size for the creek. Oh. Recently, they just came out with the version two, which even has a, a better increased uh, water resistance coating on it. And this is a shoe that I'm gonna wear more in the winter as it gets colder because in our winters, we get a ton of rain, sleet, mud, not usually uh, any snow. So I'm, you know, tromping around on the banks and, um, you know, I wanna keep my feet dry. I have lots and lots of shoes that I can't even wear in the winter time because as soon as you step outside, it's just, your feet are soaked. So this is something I'm definitely gonna be wearing with some good um, water resistance and good traction to get to the kind of places that I plan to go this winter. Well, speaking of keeping your feet dry, you probably don't wanna be wading down in Florida. So I went to Florida for ICAST, a fishing show. First time I ever got to go to it, I went there for one whole day and it was uh, quite a bit. I wasn't expecting to be quite like that. I gave out a bunch of business cards. I was trying to you know, find some people that wanted to work with me. Um, I, I talked to some people, a lot of people I already knew. You know, I did I already got a couple of rods from it. Um, I've, you know, hopefully some things maybe turn to uh, more stuff in the future. But I was like, I gotta go down there and do a little fishing. So this was crazy. I drove down, uh, I stopped at a Bass Pro, and uh, I was on the way down, I found this pond. On, there's ponds everywhere. I looked over, there's a pond on the side of the road. I said, I gotta get out and make some casts. Be careful where you stop in Florida, check this pond out. I thought this was uh, a couple pretty cool little clips here. Look at that. That's all you can see. Oh, makes me be a little bit more weary. But there might be fish in here though, I don't know. I'm just throwing a frog to start. Definitely know there's gators. Definitely a bunch of little minnows, so I would say for sure there's fish in here. Um, pretty much all the water in here connects. I just didn't know if this dries up. This could be a retention pond that just doesn't hold water, but there's an alligator in here. Uh, around the bank, there's just tons of little bitty minnows that are just swimming all around the real shallow bank. What is that? Is that another baby? Are these just little gators in here? Let's see if I can get it to follow this thing. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, it is a little gator. He bit my frog. <laughs> he snapped at it again. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> he didn't bite this twice. He snapped at it. That is a little guy. I wonder how many of these there are in here. Come on. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, he ate it. Let's see. Oh, I got him hooked. I don't know if I'm hooked, hooked. No, he wasn't hooked on it. I just wanted to get him to grab it and fight with it. I don't even know if you're allowed to catch a gator. I don't know what the rules are. I ain't trying to catch him. I ain't gonna like, nope, we bit it again. Look at him eat that thing. That's funny. I would totally have tried to catch that alligator. It was, it was, I don't know, maybe two, two and a half foot long. Um, it was funny because I just saw his head is like that big. He was just kind of swimming across the water. And then when I, when he grabbed my bait, he kind of flopped like a fish. I would have tried to hook him and reel him in if I didn't think I was probably going to go to jail for it because I'm pretty sure they're pretty protected. I, I imagine there's a lot of rules. I don't, I don't know. But I, I don't want to try anything, especially as being uh, filming and was on the side of the road. But I would love, like that size one, I would have I tried to catch that and grab it. Um, but, you know, it was pretty neat. It was just kind of funny to see that. <laughs> he just like came over and snapped at my frog like every time I threw it over there. But... Going to somewhere totally different, and um, this next video is transitioning to the mountains of North Carolina, where I went fly fishing 
It was a perfect day. The weather was nice. This was about a month ago. Uh, I got drone footage. I got this beautiful crystal cold flowing stream. Didn't catch a single fish. I saw an otter. I think he was probably eating all our fish. He, he was like ahead of us. We were like working our way up the stream. But we hiked all over the place. It was pretty tough terrain. But sit back and relax. And I'm just going to show you some of the scenery. And because obviously there's no fish catches. And just taking some of the beauty of the mountains of North Carolina. Wow, that was uh, really nice. Even after being there, you know, I love to watch it on video and it brings me joy just to show God's creation, you know, show these beautiful places that I get to go to. And yes, I get to go to some uh, you know, awesome places and, you know, get some footage of just really cool places. Places where, like, it's, I want to go there. If I don't catch a fish and don't make a video, I am not disappointed. It's not a failure. It's still. A blessing it's still just a fun day especially when you get to go out and do trips with your buddies and it might not turn out the way you want but you look back and you're like that was a really cool place now from seeing an otter way out in the mountains I actually have a footage of some muskrats and uh, right in the middle of town so I was uh, <laughs> kind of looking at I've got this little creek in my town I've done a couple videos there there they gets fish in there but it's funny what lives in the middle of town I got this little muskrat and it was like uh, I don't know if it was eating or building a nest. It kept going up and down, grabbing grass. And it didn't even know it was there because there's so much traffic going on. But that was kind of really neat. That was a little thing I was trying to do. It didn't really turn out. And then I got one more I'm going to share. Uh, I got several more that I could that, you know, I went out and maybe caught some little fish. But I got one more trip that I actually went out and caught a couple decent fish. 
one of them was really interesting. Um, it was early in the spring. I went out with Chris and the goal was to make a video using the tackle bag from LureNet. And I just didn't catch very many fish, but I caught a couple. So check out, uh, check out these catches here. This thing ain't really a lure I have a lot of confidence in. I don't know. Plus it's a little hard while I'm to consistently walk while I'm moving. So I got the buzz bait tied on. Probably gonna go to it after a few more of these casts. Oh yeah! <laughs> that was cool. I, yeah, good fish too. Maybe I'd get. It may have been. He was he was right off his branch. It's a large mouth, a nice one. Yeah, about a two two and a half pounder. Dude, a good fish. Dude, this thing is fat. I guess to gain confidence, you gotta at least throw it. Uh, there's a tail of a bluegill sticking out. Look at look at that belly. He just ate a bluegill. Smoked that little um. What was that? What's this thing again? Super spook. Heading. Uh yeah, that was kind of cool. So maybe I am gonna get a little confidence in that top water hit right there. <laughs> there's the tail. Such a nice fish. That guy is. Look at that. Oh man, probably a 15 to 6, maybe 16 inch, but just super, super big. He ate a pretty good size bluegill or something. There we go, finally. Huh? Said finally, got one on a spinnerbait. Pretty good one. Large mouth. I knew that spinnerbait would get me one. Oh, that's another ooh, 13, 14 incher. We're getting definitely down to the slower part towards the lake. Maybe there's more fish here. There it is. That one came out of that brush pile, just like I saw him go up in there. Yeah, I think there's a bunch of this size, they're all 12 inches. Pretty fat though. I got the little three and a half inch yum pull swim bait. Pull it through there, had two or three hits, and then boom, that guy really ate it. Of course, when I'm not out fishing, I gotta be editing, so that's kind of boring. So I, I spent a lot, of, a lot of hours sitting here behind this computer, um, going through footage you know deleting stuff and uh, i have thought about trying to get an editor but at some point i might do that when I, maybe i more can afford it or it would be more cost effective but there's there's several days that you know i didn't show i went to wisconsin here a while back and i actually deleted part of the footage i caught a couple small mouth one day caught a couple large mouth one day you know i probably would have made a video but i like i, I accidentally deleted half of it uh, i went out fishing with my buddy alex and um it, we went to one of my favorite rivers. It rained all like half the day, and people usually you say you know you hear ah oh, it's really good fishing when it's raining. Well, it was horrible. Like it was like one of the worst days I've ever been on there, and like it was like a storm coming in, and I thought they'd be fired up. So a lot of times you know I've been a lot of places here recently. My the fun part of my job is to go try things, go explore things, and also I have a series coming up where I fished. Um, five days in a row kayaking so that'll be coming up really soon so that's gonna wrap it up thanks for watching four years ago four years ago i punched my time clock that we actually had a time clock there so i punched the time clock for the last time hopefully i mean i might be doing it again i i, I did enjoy doing heating and air fixing air conditioning problems but i enjoy this a lot more i can set my own schedule do you know work when i want to work for the most part which usually means i work way more than you know, I have to, I'm, I'm always doing it. I'll take breaks and do different things like that. But also when I get to go out and fish, that's, I get to relax while I'm filming. You know, sometimes I'm concerned about getting certain things on film, but also I get to just soak in the adventure in what I get to do. Big thanks to Nordiv 8 and the boots for getting to try those out. I'll leave more information uh, below. 
But I'm sure I'll be able to hopefully test it out and trying out and kind of showing other products that um, usually are going to be fishing related or something related to how I live or it won't be, I doubt I'll be able to be showing it. And uh, I appreciate all the support that we've had. Um, been been a great four years. Uh, I, I think I'm going to start trying to do, you know, different types of videos, maybe bigger, longer videos or more series or who knows. But I'm just going to enjoy it and do what I feel like doing at the time. Thanks for watching.